Hello everyone, this is Eng Samtai, I'm Paul, and as you can see, I shaved my hair, I'm preparing for the summer in Hanoi. But don't worry, it's gonna grow back soon, so please wait for my next video. Since I'm from France, today we are going to speak about the relation between Vietnam and France. As you know, and I'm sorry about this, Vietnam was a French colony for over six decades. And so, of course, today you can still see the French influence in Vietnam. For example, the language. Many Vietnamese words were borrowed actually from French language, like béton, chemise, fromage, film, cinema, équipe, and many others. We can also find this influence in the architecture. For example, the Hanoi Opera House, or the Long Bien Bridge, or even the Ho Chi Minh City Hall. So, those are just some facts that you probably know already. But today we are going to speak about five facts that I think you will not know. Let's start. Fun fact number one. The last emperor of Vietnam, Vua Bao Dai, is actually buried in Paris, right next to the Eiffel Tower. The name of this cemetery is Cimetière Passy. And this cemetery is actually the resting place of a lot of well-known Parisian. His memorial is quite simple, just a marble, tombstone, but hey, the background is the Eiffel Tower. I love the view. Baudai was buried there because he spent a lot of his life living in this city. So definitely, next time I go back to Paris, I will pay him a visit. Fun fact number two, did you know that Ho Chi Minh was one of the founders of the French Communist Party? Yeah. In 1920, when Ho Chi Minh was in France, he actually helped to build this party, which is called the PCF, le Parti Communiste Français. This party just celebrated their 100 years anniversary last December. For this fun fact number three, let's go to Little Paris, or like you call it, Dalat. In 1893, Dr. Alexandre Yersin was requested by the French authorities to go explore the central highlands of Vietnam. And that's when Dalat was discovered. Due to the cold and chill weather, Dalat was super famous for foreigners coming from Europe. During the French colonial, something like 20% of the population of Dalat was foreigners. So they were planting flowers, vegetable. It was kind of a resort city for those people and they can chill there in their beautiful villa. Actually, French people had a little name for this city. Le Petit Paris. Le Little Paris. During the American War, because so many high officials were enjoying this city, well, they didn't want to bring the battle there. And that's why it was spared during the war. Today, we have no problem with leftover mines in this area, actually. Fact number four, let's go back in time. During the war between the Taishan dynasty and the Nguyen lords, did you know that many foreigners actually served under Lord Nguyen Ang and later became the first foreigner Mandarin in Vietnam history? One of them was Jean-Baptiste Chignot, came by his Vietnamese Nguyen Van Tang. He was a French Navy sailor and adventurer. By the way, my name in Vietnamese is Van Pang. Hi. So what took him in Vietnam? Well, it's because he was following this priest, Father Pignot de Bn, aka Badalok, Badalok, yeah, Badalok, and who was requested to find allies for the Lord Nguyen Ang. And yeah, that's how Van Tang ended up in Vietnam, starting a new chapter here. And he was part of the battle of Kin Kinai. Kinai, yeah one of the bloodiest naval battle in Vietnamese history. A battle where the Taishan Navy was completely destroyed. After this battle, he was granted the noble title of Grand Mandarin in the Nguyen Dynasty, with 50 escorts and soldiers at his service. By the way, this is his mansion. Pretty legit, right? I would love to live there. After all of this, and despite a beautiful house like this, he decided to go back to France to live in his hometown of Lorient, which is very close to my hometown. Fact number five, McDonald's. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know if you know it, but France is actually the most profitable market for McDonald's outside the US, of course, with more than 1,000 locations in my country. And in Vietnam, you have 17 McDonald's for a population of 96 million people. So yeah, fast food in Vietnam is not as fast as the cuisine here, which I'm loving it. 
To wrap up this video, I collected some facts on the website updated on March 2021. Let's start with the population. Can you guess the population of France? Which one is the highest, Vietnam or France? Well, in France, we have 67 million inhabitants against, from all, 96 million in Vietnam. That's way more. I was so surprised. But in France, we have 104 habitants per square kilometer, while in Vietnam, you have 286 people per square kilometers. Then, life expectancy. In France, we have 8.1 years longer life expectancy than in Vietnam. So, if you want to live longer, well, you can go to France. If you want to die sooner, you can stay here. Nope. GDP. France has 39,000 higher GDP per capita. Now, a number I like. Vietnam has 90.28% lower obesity rate among adults than in France. Well done. No fast food. That works. Finally, France has more than 4 million cases of corona with 90,762 deaths death cases. While in Vietnam, you have 2.5 thousand cases with only 35 days. So well done, Vietnam. Maybe you should stay here if you want to survive. So what is your most favorite fun fact about Vietnam and France? Mine was definitely the little Paris Dallas. If you want to hang some time to meet another video about fun facts between Like and subscribe and thank you for watching. A bientôt!